Hey guys, how are we doing today? You would have received the last lesson, which was about how do you integrate Google Analytics and some basics out there. Uh, well, Google Analytics can help you with a lot of things, right from understanding how many people visit your site, uh, what do they do on your website, uh, how much time they spend on your website, um, where are they coming from, uh, how much of content they share. Uh, basically, it gives you an overall perspective of what are people doing on your blog or on your website and this immensely help you in taking data driven decisions at Ecomi, uh, we believe in taking a lot of data driven decisions and Google Analytics plays a very important role in that case we often take uh, uh, Google Analytics into consideration every week and we report to our clients taking data out of it understanding what has been uh, uh, what has been a successful strategy in terms of content marketing what has not worked well how much of traffic is social media bringing organically or the paid wise how much of traffic is uh, Google bringing organically or paid wise how much has been the performance of Google AdWords that we have run so Google Analytics is the best tool out there which is available for free of cost so there is also premium features which is available but I think you should get started using the free tool available there for getting some data about your blog as well us about your website so before um, you get before I take you there practically you should understand that in Google Analytics you can basically understand five different parameters out there one is a real-time scenario it will give you uh, data of who is currently on your website on which page and is doing what so you will understand on a day-to-day -day basis when there is more traffic coming on your website what is the current traffic doing and if you have a live chat facility integrated you can make a pop-up according to the behavior of the person on which page he has so it can actually give you a real-time pulse of what your visitors are doing on your website now the second parameter that you can understand on google analytics is the audience parameter where you can actually discover the demographics of the audience the interest of the audience the browsers that they use the mobiles mobile phones that they use uh, out there so you get a fair understanding of who your audience is what their behaviors are on your website acquisition is about where your visitors are coming from what are they doing on your website uh, which are the different sources right from Google direct social networking sites or any different forums that you have been using so you basically understand how do you acquire visitors and where are these visitors are coming from on your website or your blog now behavior is my favorite of all because you basically get to know what your audience like the most or which content is the most appreciated of all on your website plus what is the behavior of a person who is visiting on your website which all pages he visits often so you get a fair idea how many of them visit your contact us page after visiting certain pages on your site how many of them visit uh, uh, specific pages to check out the credibility of you for example who you are about you etc so you will understand the importance of pages on your site which is the right landing page which is the page which is bringing you maximum traffic so those are the kind of data which will basically give you a heads up on the overall uh, traffic of your website fifth is about conversions um, so goal setting and conversion tracking uh, is something that you can set using conversions parameter out there so that's pretty much cool so you can actually have conversions in terms of a person who visits on your blog and fills the data and visits a specific particular page which is your thank you page which is soon after someone fills which comes soon after someone fills the data on the forms out there it can give you a clarity how many people visited your site and how many people got converted in terms of the lead that it brings to you before you get started you need to be aware about some terminologies on your google analytics now let's look at exit rate percentage of visitors exiting the website from a particular page after browsing more than one page that means they come to your website they go to the contact us page and they exit from there so that where, that's where the exit rate is going to be high because you understand that most of the people come there and exit from there so exit rate is basically nothing but when a particular page is the conclusion page for the visitors on your website page views page views means the total number of pages viewed repeated views of a single page are also counted so that means a single user can actually have hundred of page views on your website traffic 
it's nothing but the number of people visiting your website conversion conversions are the number of times goals have been achieved your goals can be anything on google analytics your goal can be someone who fills the form someone who visits specific page someone who spends 2 minutes so it's basically your choice what you set as a goal and you are able, and you have to check if you're able to achieve those goals out there and that's just nothing but conversion goals goals lets you measure how much that how much time or how often users basically achieve what you really want them to achieve so basic set of actions or complete set of actions that you want them to do on your website is nothing but the goal out there now there are new visitors and return visitors new visitors are the people who visits or your website for the first time return visitors are people who are visiting your website for more than once now you might ask me what is important new visitor or return visitor new visitor is always important because you want to basically create awareness about your existence on the internet but returning visitors are equally important for you because these are the people who are coming in search of information on your site again and again so they register your brand on their mind so you should focus on bringing new people converting them into returning visitors by offering them something amazing or making them subscribe to your blog and making them connect to your communities out there so that they visit your website again so they become your return visitor now what's bounce rate bounce rate is the percentage of a single page visit that is visit in which the person left your site on entering the particular page of your website for, for example most people visit a particular website and then they walk out from the home page itself so bounce rate of that particular website is going to be high when a particular person visits your home page and from there he goes to any other specific pages internally out there and then exits from there the bounce rate of the website is going to be really really less because the person is just not reaching to the landing page and leaving right there he's exploring other pages too that's why you will notice most of the blogs and websites will have read this too read more relevant blog post out there it will give you more reasons for you to stick on to that particular site so they will inspire but with different interesting blog titles for you to click that and visit more pages on the site now what's important for you also to learn is age session is nothing but how much time a person spends on your site number of pages visitors uh, visited by a person is also recorded number of users who visit your website so overall visitor might be 10 but the number of pages that they would have done is more than 100 so it's the user behavior that gets recorded and session is nothing but in a given given time frame the level of interaction or group of interactions that take place on your website is session out there so these are some terminologies that you need to be aware of before you get started with google analytics out there so let's explore google analytics in the last session which is a blog post sent to you i have guided you how do you integrate google analytics with your blog or website if you have integrated then you can actually access google analytics just by signing into google analytics using your gmail login id and password with which you have created your google analytics out there now these are some of the five parameters that we need to really look into google analytics real time audience acquisition behavior and conversions now real time gives you data this is a real time page it gives you a data of how many people are currently on your website what are they doing where are they from and what are the keywords that are bringing them here now let's look at audience so what is that we can explore in the audience section out there in an audience section we actually get an overall perspective of how the activities have performed in last one month so let's just pick month of december 1 to december december 1 2015 to december 31st 2015 so there were 572 sessions by 418 users these people who visited the site on an average visited 2.46 pages that means overall 1408 pages were visited so this 1408 is divided by 418 
The average time spent by a user is 3 minutes 35 seconds, which is a good ratio for a blog or a website. And the bounce rate is 72.38%. That means it's pretty lit it's little high because a person comes to a site and just and just leaves from there. So he's not exploring other pages out there. So UI has to be made more friendly so that the person basically spends more time and visits some other pages too. Now the parameter that you need to really look at is 71% of the audience who visits the website are the new visitors and 29% of the visitors are the repeat visitors. So these 29% of the visitors are following that particular person who writes the blog or the website on a regular basis. Now what are some of the important parameters that you can exp experience in audience is the demographics. It will give you the data of the age group that visits the site. So 25 to 34 is the most active age group that is visiting the website right now. Majority of people who visits the website are male, rest as female. Now what is important for you to know is these data is might not be accurate because it's about people who logs on to Google, Gmail and then search makes a search on Google. So or who uses Google Chrome and is also logged into his Gmail account because this data is very much subjective to the user and what platform is he using to browse data. So what browser is he using to browse data and if he's logged into Gmail, that's when the data is basically recorded here. So whatever you're trying to register on Gmail account while you create as a male or female and your date of birth basically gets calculated in this issue. Other important aspect to look here is the location. It will tell you where are the visitors coming from. So it shows that the uh, majority of visitors for the website are from India, about 108 visitors coming from the US and people who come from India spends close to about seven minutes. People who come from the US spends just 21 seconds. But what you really need to look at is the bounce rate. People from the US don't care much. They don't spend much time. But people who come from India has been spending a lot of time on the website because the bounce rate is less. On an average, they have been visiting four pages when they make a visit on the site. Now, something which is surprising here that they need to focus on is there were just 10 visitors from Russia in the month of December and uh, they spent close to about 2 minutes 52 seconds. So that's very less as a number but that's just something that you can basically look at that which are those countries which is bringing traffic and how much time is being spent by people from those countries out there. Audience section also gives you data of the mobile phones the users use. Now, in an audience section you can have a user's flow so it shows us these are the starting pages. This is the first level interaction. This is the second level interaction. So second level interaction, either first level interaction for many of them is about a section or it's a second level interaction. So what matters is to understand how many people wants to know more about you or about the data that you write on your blog or on your website. So that's just some understanding that you will get about the user flow on your site. So now we have finished audience. We will now look into acquisition category. In an acquisition category, you will basically understand how many people are coming on your site from different sources. So sources coming from organic search, referral, direct, and social. Now the parameters that we need to, real, we need to really take into consideration here is the organic search is nothing but the behavior of the person who comes through Google or any other search engine for that matter. Referral is uh, basically people who come from uh, other websites where we have got a reference. Direct is uh, uh, people when they type down the blog username, a uh, blog name directly. Social is when they come from social networking sites. So let's just look at referral sites. So these are the sites where the traffic is coming from, from a referral point of view. These are the organic searches. So keywords that brings traffic to the site, which is medical travel advisor, medical travel specialist, gives you a data of how many people are coming from stumble upon, how many people from Facebook, Pinterest, or other social networking or social bookmarking site out there. In the acquisition section, you also have this feature called search engine optimization, which gives you an overall perspective of uh, 
how many people have been searching uh, for the keywords for which your site gets listed on the Google search list out there or the results list out there. So if you see here for online Indian visa form, the website has got about 43 impressions, but it did not get any click. So it gives you a fair understanding. For example, somebody searched for international specialist healthcare, it got us 10 impressions and two people clicked on the site. Position is done. Now let's look at behavior. So when you're exploring behavior, you get to see what is the status of your website uh, content or your blog content, which is most appreciated. So if you notice of all the content here, how to choose a hospital in India, part one, this particular topic has got most number of uh, visitors and advanced computer tom uh, tomography has got uh, less visitors, but the person has spent more time on the site. So you get a fair idea of what content is doing well on your blog. So behavior can help you understand uh, the audience uh, mindset on your website, what they do. Um, it will help you understand uh, what is the page timings and how quickly it takes, what times does it take to load. So these are some of the parameters that you can understand using Google Analytics. In conversions, you can check what are the goals achieved. You can have specific goals for the e-commerce and you can understand the combination of various segments and the multi-channel funnels out there. I will also be sharing a blog post along with you in this lesson, uh, which will be coming to you on the email out there. And that blog post will guide you on how to set up goals on Google Analytics. With this, I will end up my session. It's always a pleasure hosting you. I'm finding my best way to spend some time on the weekends for making videos for you. Please feel free to invite your friends for this course. I'm trying to do my best and I will see how I can take this offline in the future as well. So please feel free to invite your friends. If each one of you who are doing this course sincerely puts across a little bit of effort in promoting this course on social media channels, on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn channel of yours and tell them how you're benefiting out of this, it can help us benefit a lot of individuals out there. So as usual, it's always great hosting you. Thank you so much. Keep visiting sorofjane.com. Keep visiting echome.in. Keep visiting a new platform that we are launching called deinfluencer.com. So I would love to see your views on deinfluencer.com in the community out there. So please explore the website and let me know your thoughts out there. Thank you so much.